Please all stand to welcome the Mass celebrant. With grateful and joyful hearts, we are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered to celebrate this Holy Eucharist and to witness the sacrament of marriage between Renz and Cap. As their Christian family, we remind them that they are called to a life of holiness and fidelity as husband and wife. Let us therefore rejoice with them and ask God's blessing for them and their future children. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness uphold what you have established for the increase of human race so that the union you have created between Renz and Katrina Marie may be kept safe by your assistance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The, the Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh from my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy are you who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Happy shall you be and favored. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recess of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. 
May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. God is love. Let us love one another as He has loved us. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees approached Him and tested Him, saying, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatsoever? He said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be all, all be seated and listen to the homily. A blessed and good afternoon to all of you. Alam niyo po kung may ikakasal ako, minsan tinitingnan ko sa internet. So nakita ko, meron kayong ano pala, no? Meron kayo rents and cut. Tapos may countdown, no? Finally, tinitingnan ko ngayon, this is the day. No? So kayo po yung mga nag-RSVP. And we are all here. And we are full of joy. Hindi lang sila, no? Tayo po lahat ay masaya. But first of all, before I give my reflection, I'd like to, alam naman nila lahat, no? We are having this church wedding and we know that the two of them were married civilly, no? Kaya nga po yung pipirmahan nila mamaya, dalawang kopya na lang, no? So I'll just explain, what is the meaning? Ang tawag po dito, kung makikita nyo rin sa contract na kalagay, convalidation of marriage. And convali convalidation comes from the Latin word to firm up or to strengthen because a convalidation ceremony is a religious ceremony for Catholics to be legally wed under the canon law or the church law. Because civil weddings, are, these are performed outside of the Catholic Church and they are, recog they are not recognized. No? So kaya po ginagawa itong Convalidation. And this legitimizes the marriage in the eyes of the church and of God. So, papasok po tayo ngayon sa ating reflection. You know, today is not only a day of joy, but also not just for you, but all of us who are gathered here in this church. We are not only witnesses, but we as members of the Catholic community. And together, we come not only to witness your vows, but to share in your joy and to offer you our prayers, our loving support for the years ahead and to promise you that we will continue to pray for you. So, rents and cut, today you are not simply promising to be husband and wife. You are also solemnly offering yourselves as a couple to God in front of His altar. And your relationship is being sacramentalized, no? Because the sacrament of marriage is a sacred vocation. So, what does this mean? Is It is not simply a human contract, but rather a supernatural reality, whereby God who created you now personally blesses your union no? because you receive the sacrament 
of baptism, you receive the sacrament of confirmation, now you receive the sacrament of marriage. I'd like to share with you the reflection of Pope Francis about the pillars of spousal relationship. Tatlo lang itong tatandaan natin, no? First is fidelity or faithfulness. Second is perseverance. And third is fruitfulness. Yung una, anong sabi ni Pope Francis? Christ Himself is the model measure of this fidelity because of His great love for the church. Because Jesus married the church for love. That's why sinasabi natin, the church is the bride of Jesus. A beautiful, holy, even though the church is also a sinner. Combination of saints and sinner, Jesus continues to love the church. But remember, that love of Jesus is a faithful love. And that is what is being asked of both of you. No? Sabi nga, when we fall in love, sabi nila, it's easy to fall in love. No? But to remain in love, to be faithful, to be loyal to the same person for a lifetime, that is really the true test or the measure of love. No? It's not enough to say, I love you. But I love you till death. And because I love you, I am willing to forgive you for whatever weaknesses or mistakes that you will make. Yan yung nagpapalakas ng isang marriage. No? And you can ask your parents, your mga ninongs and ninangs, your friends. No? Alam nila yan. Marriage is not a bed of roses, pero depende yan sa inyong dalawa. And I always tell them, to be faithful is always to journey and to grow together. No? Ngayon kasi sa panahon po ngayon, di ba? hindi katulad ng mga, sabihin natin, 30 years, 40 years ago, ang nagtatrabaho lang yung lalaki. Pero ngayon, ang babae at lalaki. No? So that's again another test. How faithful will you be to one another? Sharing your income. Baka nag-iisip ka, ah, mag-iipon ako ng akin. Para kung may mangyari, meron akong hawak na pera. No? Pero ang mas maganda, whatever you have, you share and be loyal to each other. So, this faithfulness is like a light on marriage. The fidelity of love. The fidelity of the essence of the love of Jesus. So, yan ang unang pillar of marriage relationship. Second, marriage must be persevering. Otherwise, we cannot move forward. Sabi ni Pope Francis, perseverance in love, in good times and in difficult times. When there are problems, minsan hindi lang sa inyong dalawa ang problema. Pag nagkaanak kayo, problem with children. Pagdating sa financial and economics, may problem din. Problems here and there. But remember, true love perseveres kahit walang-wala na, nandun pa rin yung pagmamahal, no? Because you are always trying to work things out to save the relationship, to save the family. Persevering, you get up every morning, the man and the woman, and carry the family forward. Walang iwanan. So magkadugtong yan, no? Faithfulness and perseverance. Hindi pwedeng paghiwalay yan. And then he said, finally, the love should be fruitful just like the church because the love of Jesus makes the church fruitful, providing her with new children through baptism. And the church grows with this fruitfulness of love of couples. In, but in marriage, fertility can sometimes be put to the test, especially when there are no children. Or, it is a choice. Misan choice yan, you know? I think sa first world countries, they have the choice, no? 
they will get married but they would not like to have children. Kahirap lang, ano? Ano nangyayari po? Pag namatay na yung kopo, ano nang gagawin mo na iwan? Mag-aalaga na lang ng aso at saka pusa. Yun na yung kanyang magiging kasama habang buhay. No? So it is important for us, the fruitfulness of love. And always remember, children are gifts of God. No? Kaya dapat open kayo lagi no? to have children. No? Because your relationship as husband and wife is twofold. No? Your love for each other and that you are partners of God in giving life to another person or to other persons. No? Sa panahon ngayon, pakauntian na ng anak. Eh, no? Pero nung unang panahon, yung mga parents ko, no? siyam, 11, ayun ko meron pag ngayong ganong karaming anak. No? But I'm sure, with our openness, no? just allow God to work in us. Do not control your life. Allow God to be there, to be the one, the guiding hand of your marriage. So, rinse and cut. Tandaan nyo lang yung tatlo. Faithfulness, perseverance, and fruitfulness. Your marriage is something very human. Fulfilling the desire in your hearts to share your life and your love with one another. But always remember, your marriage is a sacrament of God. It is a sacred vocation that you will bring each other to holiness. Because the sacrament of marriage is a road to holiness. So with our prayers, may God bless you both and keep you faithful to each other. And also don't forget to be faithful to God until the days of your life. Amen. Please remain seated. May we request the bride and groom to please stand for the rite of marriage and the principal sponsors to stand beside the couple. Dearly beloved, friends and cut, you are here today to seal your love with an eternal bond before the church. I assure you of the prayers of our community that God pour His abundant blessings on your love and help you carry out the duties of the marriage state. And you, my dear brothers and sisters who are gathered here, May I ask you to help them with your prayers and accept them as a new couple in our Christian community. May I now ask you, Renz and Kat, to answer truthfully the following questions. Katrina Marie, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband, Renz? Friends, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife, Katrina Marie? Yes, Father. Friends and Katrina Marie, are you both ready to raise as good Christians the children whom God will give you? Yes, yes Father. Friends and Katrina Marie, since you wish to contract holy matrimony, please join your right hands. And express your intention before God and His Church. Katrina Marie, do you take rents here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. 
Do you give yourself to Him as His wife? Yes, I do. Do you accept Him as your lawful husband? Yes, I do. Friends, do you take Katrina Marie here present for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? Yes, I do. Do you accept her as your lawful wife? Yes, I do. Now, please recite this prayer together. Grant us, Grant us o, o Lord, Lord, to be one heart and one soul from, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. And I, by the authority of the church, calling on all those present here as witnesses, confirm and bless the bond of marriage which you have contracted in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Renz and Katrina Marie, we shall now bless your rings and array. Our help is in the name of the Lord. He made, he made heaven, heaven and earth. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, these rings, so that your servants, Renz and Katrina Marie, who wear them, may ever live in mutual love and in unbroken loyalty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, your servants, Renz and Katrina Marie, with sufficiency of material possessions, which this array symbolize so that they may use them to attain eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now give these rings to each other. Katrina Marie, wear this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Wear this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I give, you, I give you this array as a pledge of my dedication to your welfare. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I accept them. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us confirm our approval of the relationship of the marriage of Renz and Kat by giving our warm applause. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, let us now pray for the church and for our newly wedded couple, Renz and Katrina Marie, whose marriage reflects the union of Christ and His church. And for every petition, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church, which is the bride of Christ, that she may always be faithful in her mission of spreading the good news of our salvation and Christ's love for us. We pray. 
Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our government leaders that they may become God's instrument in protecting the family and defend life at all costs, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for all the needs of our brothers and sisters, the sick, the handicapped, the prisoners, and all those abandoned by their loved ones, that through their presence in our community, we may be enlightened and show our charity with love, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pr pray for Rens and Kat, united today in God's love, founding a new family in the Christian community, May they become God's faithful stewards and collaborators of God in rearing their future children, we pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. Let us pray for the young people who will embrace the vocation of married life, that they may learn from life and experiences of others the beauty of love that comes from generosity, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, look down with favor upon your servants. Grant them to remain faithful to you and to one another. At the end of a long and well-spent life, reward them with eternal happiness together with their children and with all those who love them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. First to light the bridal candles to be followed shortly by the veil and cord sponsors. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my Jesus. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of the sealing of the sacred bond of marriage between Renz and Katrina Marie. And just as your goodness is its origin, May your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have forged the covenant of marriage 
as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, their rebirth in baptism gives increase to the Church through our Lord Jesus Christ. And through Him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed Peace holy, O Lord. Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. My dear friends, let us humbly invoke by our prayers God's blessings upon Renz and Katrina Marie, that in His kindness He may favor with His help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament 
of matrimony. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image and will that their union be crowned with your blessing, we humbly beseech you for this, your servants, who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Katrina Marie, and upon Renz, her companion for life. And may the prayer of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you. O Lord, in sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort, comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the holy assembly and bear witness to you in the world and after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surrounds them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please be seated. May I ask the cord and veil sponsors to remove the cord and the veil.
Please all stand for the final prayer. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your loving favor what in your providence you have instituted, so as to make a one heart in love those you have already joined in this holy union and replenished with the one bread and the one chalice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Rens and Kat, now that you have received the holy sacrament of matrimony, I admonish you to remain faithful to one another. Kat, love your husband, friends, and be a good housewife. Persevere in faith, love, and holiness. Friends, love your wife, Kat, as Christ loved his church, and live with her in the holy fear of the Lord. And every time I officiate a, matter, a sacred vocation to married life, I always tell the couple, don't forget there is a Father Froilan praying for you. Lahat na kinakasal ko in my everyday masses, I include those whom I have already officiated their marriage. I think close to 100 na yata yung kinakasal ko. No? So we will have the final blessing and a special solemn blessing for Renz and Kat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Renz and Kat, please bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May God, the Eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. May you be blessed with your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy the true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and the needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. And may the Almighty and ever-loving God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us give the newly married couple a big round of applause. Please so we, all be seated while well, the bride and the groom, the priest and the sponsor sign the marriage contract. Can I ask Renz and Kat to sign your covenant of love here at the altar? So before the picture taking, I'd like to introduce to you formally our newly wedded couple, Mr. and Mrs. Renz and Katrina Marie Clarete. <laughs> Kat, you may now remove your veil and Renz, you may kiss your bride. 
Nako, ayaw matanggal yung veil. Ayaw matanggal. <laughs> oh yung camera. Mabuhay ang bagong kasal! <laughs>